Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that you have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Christ is mediator of a new covenant since a death has taken place for deliverance from transgressions under the first covenant, 
those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. For Christ did not enter into sanctuary made by hands, a copy of the true one, but heaven itself, that he might now appear before God on our behalf, not that he might offer himself repeatedly, as the high priest enters each year into the sanctuary with blood that is not his own. If that were so, he would have had to suffer rep repeatedly from the foundation of the world. But now once for all, he has appeared at the end of the ages to take away sin by his sacrifice. Just at this is appointed that human beings die once, and after this the judgment, so also Christ, offered once to take away the sins of many, will appear a second time, not to take away sin, but to bring salvation to those who eagerly await him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of his horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Please stand. Our Savior Jesus Christ has destroyed death and brought life to life through the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The scribes who had come from Jerusalem said to Jesus, He is possessed by Beelzebul, and by the prince of demons, he drives out demons, summoning them, he began to speak to them in parables. How can Satan drive out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that the kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that the house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, 
he cannot stand. That is the end of him. But no one can enter a strong man's house to plunder his property unless he first ties up the strong man. Then he can plunder his house. Amen, I say to you, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an everlasting sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we are celebrating Monday, the third week in Ordinary Time. Our readings today bring us to a question. Who is Jesus? Sino po si Jesus para sa atin? A question of identity. Mother, brothers and sisters, some would say this question is very simple and very common. Yes, we are all agree. This question is very simple and common. And everyone, mother, brothers and sisters, can answer because our answer about Jesus is definitely correct. And I believe for us today, my dear brothers and sisters, no one dare to say negative traits or attributes about Jesus. Sa pagkakilanlan po natin kay Jesus sa ating buhay, ito ang nagbibigay sa atin ng gabay. Ito ang nagbibigay sa atin ng lakas at ito nagbibigay sa atin ng direksyon upang tayo magpatuloy sa ating paglalakbay. Si Jesus ang ating kinakapitan at tunay nating kinikilala at dapat nating kilalanin sa buhay natin dahil siya ang tunay na nagbibigay kabuluhan ng kahulugan ng tunay na buhay sa ating pang-araw-araw na paglalakbay dito sa mundong ibabaw. Mother, brothers and sisters, totoo na ibinibigay sa atin si Jesus. Dapat sa ngayong panahon sa ating buhay, kilala na po natin si Jesus. Tunay siyang nagbibigay ng tunay na halimbawa, tunay na kalooban na dapat nating isabuhay at dapat nating gayahin. That's why, mother, brothers, and sisters, we have Jesus. We have Jesus. And we embrace it. Hopefully, and I pray, mother, brothers, and sisters, sa pagkakakilala po natin kay Jesus, ang tanong na ito, who is Jesus? We are stand erect with our conviction that Jesus truly lives on us. Mother, brothers, and sisters, Jesus mediate us to the Father. He has come to deliver us from our sinfulness. He has come to deliver us also from all evil spirit. In our gospel today, mother, brothers, and sisters, Jesus suffered accusation. He is accused that he is possessed by Beelzebul, by the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Si Jesus ay inaakusahan na siya ay inaalihan ni Beelzebul, ang prinsipi ng mga demonyo. At sa kapangyarihan ni Beelzebul, si Jesus ay nagpapalayas ng demonyo. My dear brothers and sisters, it's all about power. It's all about power. A power to destroy or a power to make us good, or a power to make us as whole. Speaking of power of Jesus, or embracing the power of Jesus, always end to goodness. 
embracing the power of Jesus, possessing the power of Jesus, always end to goodness. Evil power and demon power always end to destruction. Always remember that, my dear brothers and sisters. And which power will you allow? Ano po ang tatangkilikin po nating kapangyarihan? Ang kapangyarihan ng kasamaan o kapangyarihan na taglay ng ating Panginoon? As we know Jesus, my dear brothers and sisters, you know His power. You know Jesus, you know also His power. The power of Jesus is not to divide us, rather to unite us. His power is to strengthen us, not to waken us. Ang kapangyarihan ni Jesus, pinapalakas po tayo. Pinapatibay tayo, hindi tayo pinanghihina ng kapangyarihan ni Jesus. Hindi tayo dinadala para maging mahina sa buhay natin araw-araw. That is why we approach Jesus every day to strengthen us in our journey, in our everyday life, so that our endeavors, we will survive because we possess the power of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, and that we embrace the power of Jesus. We receive the power of Jesus, and that is the Holy Spirit. We know, my dear brothers and sisters, the power of Jesus is that the Holy Spirit, ang banal na Espiritu, ang banal na Espiritu, mga kami na mahal kong kapatid, ay binubuo po tayo. Dinadala po tayo sa kabuuan ng ating pagkatao tungo sa ating Panginoon. Binubuo tayo para kay Jesus. Binubuo tayo para sa Diyos. Kaya po, kung tayo po'y binubuo ng banal na Espiritu para sa Diyos, makikita po natin ang kabutihan ng Diyos. And we also possess the power of Jesus, the Holy Spirit, kaya din po natin gawin ang kabutihan na dala ng banal na Espiritu, ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos. Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are all the vessels of the Holy Spirit of God. We possess the Spirit and we are belong to Him. As we heard in our gospel today in the last part, mother, brothers, and sisters, all sins and all blasphemies that people utter will be forgiven them. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will never have forgiveness. But this is guilty of an everlasting sin. Mother, brothers, and sisters, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we are make us sinless. Kung tayo po ay inaalihan ng banal na Espiritu araw-araw, tunay na tayo lumalayo sa kasalanan. At kung ganun mga kapatid, tayo ay no po, sinless image of God. And we are not possessed by demons. We are all protected. Mother, brothers, and sisters, by the Holy Spirit, you, we are all united in Him. We are united to Him. We carry the power of Jesus so that we are all united. Ito po ang dinadala sa atin ng banal na Espiritu na kaloob sa atin ng ating Panginoon. And by that, we are all one path, one direction, as we start this week, as we receive from the Lord, we are all, hopefully, my dear brothers and sisters, possessed by the Holy Spirit. We are all possessed by the Holy Spirit. The power of Jesus, 
the power of God. And that may be translated that we are able to do good works and we are all agents of peace and unity to spread the very power that we have for the common good, not the power of self-serving, not the power of self-serving as a purpose. And today, our prayer, mother, brothers, and sisters, for the whole week, let us ourselves dominated by the Holy Spirit. Always pray that we are all dominated by the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please stand. As today, my dear brothers and sisters, gathered together in Christ, who conquers all evil, let us come confidently to the Father with our fearful intentions. And every petition we say, Father in heaven, deliver us from evil. Father in heaven, deliver us from evil. That the church may be renewed and give faithful witness to the proper values of life and so help restore a fallen world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven deliver, deliver us, us from, from evil. evil. That warring nations may learn to live in harmony and mutual cooperation in bringing peace to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. That all believers in Christ may overcome the vision and become one in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven deliver, deliver us from, from evil. That the sick, especially those who are handicapped, may receive comfort and attention from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, deliver us from evil. That the faithful departed may be delivered from the evil of eternal death. Let us pray to the Lord. Father in heaven, deliver us from evil. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intention. God our Father, Keep us healing us from all evil and let your goodness shine in us by the power of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept our offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. 
For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving itself ye give, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation to Christ our Lord. And so, in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed, Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. May you call it therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking up the body and blood of Christ, may be God unto one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have preached throughout the ages, we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Sibius command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily, daily bread. bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
and with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the very source of our power. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are the school to the supper of the land. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only, only say, say the, the word, word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Be the body and blood of Christ. Keep Amen. Us. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, we may always glory in your gift. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. By your heads and pray for God's blessing. Be the God of all consolation. Order your days in His peace and grant you your gifts of His blessing. Amen. May He free you always from every distress and confirm your hearts in His love. Amen. So that on this life's journey, you be effective in good works, rich in the gifts of hope, faith, and charity, and become happily to eternal life. 
Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Maria, in the name